Talking Heads is a band that was formed in New York City in 1975 and they make a brand of music that I don't usually react to on this channel. They make something called New Wave Music, which is a blend of punk, art rock and funk. And it's an experimental form of rock music. Now, this band is composed of David Byrne, Chris France, Tina Weymouth and Jerry Harrison. Now, I didn't have any intentions of initially reacting to this band. However, due to one of my subscribers donating to me, Aaron Fledge. Big shout out to Aaron, thank you very much for your donation. Um, I have decided to cover the band. I've, I've, I'll try and always cover bands that um, people ask me to through donations and super thanks. So here we are. Hope you guys enjoy this reaction. And if you are, here we go. This is The Great Curve by Talking Heads. If you do end up enjoying the video, hit me with a like, maybe share it with a friend, or if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and join our awesome, awesome community. Let's go. Oh. Bongo drums. Don't usually hear that in uh, in rock music. Sometimes the world has a load of questions. Seems like the world knows nothing at all. The world is near, but it's out of reach. Some people touch it, but they can't hold on. She is moving to describe. Okay, I think the word experimental definitely um, encompasses what this band is. It's a blend of a whole different things that aren't usually put together. Um, it's got a really like funky guitar part. Um, the drums are like uh, Afro beat inspired almost. They're like certainly African drums, you know, bongo, bongo drums. And then the dude's voice is also really interesting. It's like very hypnotic or robotic in a sense too. Uh, so three pieces that are being put together that aren't normally put together. And you've got the horn section too. The world is real, looking at people. Sometimes we feel that the world is wrong. She loves the world and all the people in it. She shakes them up and she starts to walk. She is only part of This is a crazy song, man. What a unique sounding guitar. Sounds like someone screaming out. Right? Like screaming out in pain. Right there. The rhythm is crazy. Okay, I'm trying to sort of understand this track and I don't think I have made sense of it yet. I think it's uh, kind of cryptic on purpose, 
right? It's not supposed to give you easy answers, but it seems to be some kind of a metaphor about how it is or life as a woman, maybe. I think that's what they're trying to see. Or maybe like a young girl who becomes a woman and starts to understand her, her sort of feminine powers, where it says a world of light starts to open up and then they talk about like her hips and her curves. I think this is what I'm trying to get. Maybe this is like a pro-women kind of song, or like a feminist anthem or something like that. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm making a lot of leaps at the moment, but that's kind of what I'm gathering from the lyrics. Sounds like African inspired chants. This track sounds like what aliens think music is, <laughs> if that makes sense. It's so bizarre. I don't mean it in a bad way. It's just bizarre. It's odd. <laughs> Sounds like an alien's version of a guitar solo. Okay, I mean, one thing that I can certainly say about that track is that it is a wholly unique experience. I have not heard another song like that. There are many songs, they come up and they are a version of something else. And this is certainly not a version of anything else. It's, uh, it's It has inspirations, you know, there's different parts taken from different places. Again, the guitar part is funky. It sounds like a funk guitar part. Um, the drums are from Africa. Uh, even some of the chants sound like African chants. You know, if you've ever heard like a almost rhythm and chant type, type track that comes from like the 1940s and 50s from Africa, it sounds something like that, right? And then you have like this robotic uh, kind of voice, which isn't even singing necessarily. He's like narrating the voice over the top of it. Very bizarre. Uh, now, I was saying it sounds like what aliens would think that music is and i don't mean that in a bad way it's just it's just strange um you know even the guitar solo i was saying it sounds unique at first and then as you go along with the song it kind of fit in the madness of the whole thing um i don't know almost what to say after that uh let's go into the story 
I think I was right about what the track is about, right? It's like about a woman who starts to understand her powers, uh, you know, her feminine charms, you could say. Um, yeah, dude, this is it's rare that I get stumped like this. This is a strange, strange band. A stra is this a common type of music that they make? Uh, I guess this would be for the Talking Head fans because I have not heard anything like this. So uh, really interesting experience. You know, I don't really react to rock music quite as strange as this. There was a small period of time where I was running streams and I was doing so, but um, you know, I've not heard something uh, quite as wild and out there as this. So Aaron Fledge, I hope you got, hope you enjoyed this, my friend. Um, I guess this is one of your, one of your bands that you like. You have an interesting taste in music. Maybe in a few years or whatever, I, the experimentation will make more sense to me because this is a giant leap right if i'm here musically i should do this for the camera if i'm here musically this is like over here i used to be like here i was a hip-hop fan and i've learned about some great so, oh, sorry some great rock music right but like this is still over here i still have a way to go to try and understand where this is uh, but thanks for the suggestion and the donation my friend thank you very much